The things that I was beating myself up about, probably I would say 90 something percent of you won't even notice it. And I'm like, what was all of that about? Welcome to the Living Irving Channel. Welcome to the Living Irving Channel. What's up, what's up guys? Welcome to Living Irving. I did a video earlier and the lighting was terrible. I was not happy with the quality, but the reason for this video is just to say I post it anyways. I've been a content creator. Um, it's been a passion. I've been on YouTube. That's my platform. That's my baby. And I've been on it a little bit over 15 years. But I am not where I want to be because I had a full-time job. And so YouTube was my side hustle. And a lot of times I was just completely tired when I got off work and just was half doing and so and just being inconsistent so, so I am here and I wanted to let you know a lot of the times I was self-sabotaging myself um, with imposter syndrome I would beat myself up so hard in my videos I literally have a terabyte of footage where I have saved on a hard drive which it's not working but I would, if I had the slightest little hair in my face, I was like, you know what? That video is not good enough. I was also going through a lot of comparison syndrome and comparing myself like my video footage is just not good enough. And I was tanking everything, sabotaging my everything, like literally beating myself up. So what I learned 15 years later is you know what I just don't care and the things that I was beating myself up about probably I would say 90 something percent of you won't even notice it and I'm like what was all of that about so yes the quality was poor but I posted anyways um yes um I didn't have makeup on and I would beat myself up about that with my skin imperfections but then People need to see the real deal, the real transformation and not all these filters and things like that. So I just stopped beating myself up. So this is the real deal. I am on my camera like there's no filters here, um, just pretty decent lighting. So this is what I'm trying to accomplish um, just so that women that are struggling uh, the way I am, you know, to this like cut imposter syndrome and go for what we want out there and stop worrying about others i mean i literally sabotaged my fashion career because i allowed certain things to get in my head about or am i working on my weight and things like that and i felt like i wasn't good enough comparing myself again to others so yeah let me know in the comments you know are you dealing with things like that or have you dealt with that and what did you do to get over it I have like a lot of things that I could tell you that um, helped me to get through it but yeah that's all I had to say and thank you for watching I'll see you in the next segment what else could you ask for baby I'm a hot sexy mama